What's up traders? Quick reminder about the 100 sub giveaway video that we did yesterday, uh, announcing what we're gonna do for the giveaway on Friday night. So link will be in the description below for that. Uh, with that said, we did two hypo trades today. Uh, one was on ATI and that one was because we just didn't have shares. The other one on Zayo, which we did have shares, but it was a little bit pricey. Um, but you know, practice is practice. And in this market, when you're not trading because nothing's fitting your edge, that's what you got to do. You know, try to find stocks that you can at least practice on. So we all know what day it is, though. It's hope day. Okay, so we can't trade this, but I would definitely be getting in right here over three. As you can see, the time in sales was really starting to hit its peak. She's holding here, but I feel pretty confident. We would just be looking for the quick flush down towards 280, maybe just under 290. It's very unfortunate that I don't have shares on this because the rest of the market is just crap right now. Okay, yeah, we would be looking for probably at this point just the 290 flush. Looking like we might get it here. And big buyer there, 295. Still holding here, looking for 290. The thing we like about this is looking at the pre market high a day. We have that as, uh, there we go. All right, we would probably be out right here. So probably like 88, 89. Just reading the tape there on that push over three. You could tell, I mean, look how extended she was anyway. You can see right there, she was just super extended. Might even be giving us round two. I right, would be back in right here. And look at look at the time in sales. I mean, see how she is. She just shot up to th over three, and now she's really struggling. We would have been in there somewhere like three hundred four, three hundred five, and we'd probably look for a bigger flush this time because of a double, basically a double top. Yeah, she's still struggling here. She tried to get back up there again. We would probably be looking for closer to two eighty on this one. Because when she flushes here, she's probably going to flush pretty good. Because we want to get back towards VWAP. Because that wasn't a real pullback. You know, the ones that you're looking for back to VWAP before she would probably continue. She's still pretty extended here. Looking pretty good. Okay, uh, here comes the 90. We'd be looking for this one down near 80. Worst case there, around 90, if you're not feeling it, you could always take half your position. I mean, you could take your whole position. It's still, that would have been 15 cents if you got in at 305. But on this one, after basically a fake out, go, trying to go high a day, excuse me, and she decided she didn't want to, I'd be looking for a bigger uh, sell-off here. People realizing, okay, maybe she's not going to run. All those people getting in right there at 3, thinking she's going to 340, and she doesn't. a ton of volume that came in really wish these are the plays that I'm looking for <laughs> and I just there hasn't been any this week all right we're looking for this 290 flush should go pretty close almost right to 280 I would think uh, we checked the float on this too it was around 20 million I mean I think let me double check yeah 24 million so I mean this was just this would have been perfect if we had shares 292 held pretty good there considering all the shares that just went through probably people covering thinking she's not going to drop any further yet but we're going to be patient here there was a lot of selling pressure 
right over three. I, I just don't think she's going to get back over three. Not yet, anyway. She needs a proper pullback. As you can see, there was a b either a big sell-off, people jumping in short. Definitely looking for this 290 flush. I'd probably put an order like right at 280 because it might look to bounce there just to try to get my shares filled. I don't see her going too far under 280 because VWAP's starting to come up. There we go. There it is. 290 break. Look at that. Right down to 2. And we're out. Right there, 280. Man, that would have been beautiful. That would have been 24, 25 cents on the second one. We would have got 10, 15 cents on the first one. That would have been a good one. So we pulled up Zeo here. Uh, just check the float. It's 231 million. Whoa. That was quick. Did not see those prints go through. That was super quick. Would have been looking to be in over 31 here. It's a little out of our price range. Okay, we're back over 31. She's really struggling to stay over 31 here. Just hesitant to take 100 shares, maybe 50 shares here, but then it reminds me of the Twitter trade. You know, right now with commissions eating me up, I just don't know if this is a trade for us. Um, I think we're going to maybe just try to hypo trade this like we did the A tie, just the practice makes perfect, right? Okay, we're back up over 31. We're going to see what she does over 31 again here. Okay, she's making a little bit more of a push right here. Okay, bid was at 31.14. We'll say we got it in 31.14. We'd just be looking for a quick flush for this one back under 31, and we would be taking it. And bam. Want a little bit more than that. See if we can get under 90. No. All right, 91. We would have took it right there. Just This thing is trading really weird. So right there, 14 and 91, so 23 cents. That would have been a quick 23 cents. All right, we're back up there again. This time I got a feeling she's going to push a little bit higher. Yeah, see it, the, the selling is not there quite yet. More volumes coming in. Right, she's trying to sell off. Oh, she did go right back under 31. This thing's trading pretty crazy. I would probably avoid this. I wouldn't be looking to trade it again. All right, traders. So as you can see, that was my two hypo trades. <laughs> but we're going to go over them just real quickly. Uh, on ATI, you can see she started to get nice and extended and on lots of volume, and she went right over that whole dollar break, which is just our perfect setup. We're looking for the overextension and then that last big push right over the whole dollar. The odds are you're going to have so much resistance there and just, you know, selling pressure, people shorting, uh, looking left. You know, there was previous resistance there from the pre-market. And on top of that, you know, looking uh, at the pre-market, we knew that 340 was probably going to be a nice big resistance point as well. So getting in the air, getting in where we did in the hypo trade, you know, if she were to start shooting up even more, you know, it's just bonus round at that point. Um, however, you know, if she extends and then pulls back like this and then goes for it, that's a different story. But if it was all on this one push, I mean, the more the better. I mean, we would have loved to see this thing get up to 340 to try to get an add in up there obviously all in this first push. So, and then uh, obviously if she comes down like this and then starts to go back up, if you're, you know, holding some shares, you know, that's when you would probably look to, you know, cut it because the odds are she probably is going to go, you know, high a day. But as you can see, she didn't. And the hypo shares that we made were pretty solid. Uh, she actually gave us two of them. They were nice and quick. And they're pretty much just from reading the tape and, you know, putting our setup that we look for, you know, the pop and drop into play. Uh, so Zayo, real quick. Oops. I uh, don't know what I just hit. Zayo. So Zayo, this thing came out of nowhere. And in retrospect, uh, we had found out that it was a buyout rumor, and they're getting close to finishing it. Um, actually, back in March is when the rumor started, but now apparently it's getting really close to being finished. With this one, as you could see, when it popped up over that 31 mark, you know, we were just looking for that 
in over 31, out under 31 type scenario. And she gave us two great opportunities. And as you can see, being a buyout, she started grinding. So at this point, once she started, she had her pullbacks or sell-offs and all that good stuff. And then she just started to grind a little bit higher. This is when you don't want to mess with it because you don't know what this thing's going to do. I mean, she could have just went sideways from here, you know, being a buyout rumor. Um, she might have just never given you this move back down. But I guess people are starting to do the math. They're trying to figure out what the company's worth. And apparently it's right around 31.20 a share. So that is that. And sorry about those noises there. But like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the 100 sub giveaway video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you leave your comment down uh, below in that video and let me know why you think you should win and deserve you know, a free week of the scanners. Um, we would gladly love to you know, teach, us, teach you our ways. <laughs> um, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, again, it's been a slow week, guys, so we're just taking what we can get, which is nothing right now you know, as far as real trades, but... You know, the practice trades, there were two good ones today. So I wasn't too upset about at least practicing a little bit. Um, you know, patience is key. And hopefully patience pays off just like it did last week. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace!